Hi, island luxury lovers. Imagine you're swimming in crystal clear waters, relaxing on the beaches of soft white sand, exploring granite rocks framed by wild, fragrant Mediterranean scrub. You are on an island that will seduce you with its unique archaeological heritage and its people's innate sense of hospitality. Yes, my island luxury lovers, today we will talk all about Sardinia Island, Italy. Sardinia is Italy's second largest island after Sicily Island. You can also check out a video of Sicily on our channel. With a rocky coastline interrupted only by sublime beaches of turquoise, cobalt, and cerulean water, Sardinia Island is a dream vacation for travelers all over the world. Sardinia is one of the most stunning and diverse places in Italy to visit. Honestly, Sardinia feels like the kind of place you visit for more of a sun-soaked holiday. It's got a heap of stunning bays and quaint little villages to explore. Of all the islands on the Mediterranean, Sardinia is one of the most serene and untouched. This sun-soaked paradise is home to mountains, forests, and rocky coasts. There's also a range of exquisite beaches surrounded by the azure waters of the Western Mediterranean. Visitors can find plenty of ways to relax here, from chilling at the beach resorts along the coast to taking mountainous hikes through the island's stunning interior. There are numerous hiking and biking trails crisscrossing the island where you can enjoy the fresh air and beautiful scenery. For a real treat, take the boat ride through the Gulf of Orose to see the fascinating cliffs known as the Emerging Rocks. It'll cost you around $120 to rent a boat in Sardinia Island. Unless you're a fan of scorching temperatures and vacation crowds, the best time to visit Sardinia is the months of April to May and September to October. It's still warm enough to swim in the sea and infinitely better for taking to the country's biking and hiking trails. Sardinia has all the right ingredients to experience an unforgettable holiday. So yes, you don't need to go to the other side of the planet to find some of the best beaches in the world because Sardinia Island offers the most stunning and gorgeous beaches for you. Cala Galorice. Perched in the Gulf of Orase, Cala Galorice is one stunning beach and coastline to explore when you're in Sardinia Island. Now, the beach itself is actually quite new. It was only naturally formed in the 1960s when a massive landslide caused this stunning little area to explore. It's totally stunning. Also, close by you'll find the stunning landscapes of La Figli della Aguglia. It's such a unique spot on the island and easily one of the best things to do in Sardinia when you're driving on the coastal routes. Pelosa Beach. Visiting Pelosa Beach is a must when exploring the northern routes of Sardinia. It's totally stunning and one of the best beach areas in Sardinia Island. Trust me, you'll see why once you arrive. Now, the only thing to remember is that it can get pretty busy if you arrive in the high season. Keep this in mind and try to avoid the weekend and you'll have a much quieter and totally tranquil experience. Cala Brandinci, known as Little Tahiti for its incredible clear waters and it's recognized as one of the most famous beaches in Sardinia. Cala Brandinci makes it onto any list showcasing Sardinia's best beaches. Its shallow waters are perfect for swimming, while 700 meters of soft sand and its surrounding pine trees make for a serene environment in which to catch the rays. Spiaggi di Tuereda. Located in the very south of the island, a visit to this beach during your Sardinia holidays will allow you to enjoy the most rustic and coastal locations in the Mediterranean. The V-shaped beach stretches for over 500 meters, presenting a wonderful strip of sand and some of the best snorkeling conditions on the island. The views across the Isola Tuareda are also particularly rewarding from this Sardinian beach. Sardinia is a scuba diver's dream. With pristine waters and fascinating dive sites, Sardinia is often described as containing the best diving in Italy and perhaps the best through the Mediterranean. Technical divers love the area's caves, and history lovers are fascinated by the wrecks, and beginners can ease into the water on a variety of shore dives. Among the sandy seabeds, maze-like caves, and fascinating rock formations, divers have the opportunity to find eagle rays, tuna, the elusive sunfish, dolphins, octopus, slipper lobsters, the Mediterranean bamboo sharks, and many other marine species. The price of scuba diving starts from $135 and can get up to $900 on Sardinia Island. 
There are many resorts, hotels, and villas in Sardinia, which shock out exclusive offerings, including accommodation, food, and different activities. Let me show you three recommended resorts and hotels in Sardinia Island. Villa Las Tronas. Villa Las Tronas is a delightful five-star hotel that has become the symbol of Alguero. The hotel rises from the seashore with its spa, nestled into the greenery of nearly two hectares of park that separate it from the Alquero waterfront. Due to its very special location, the views surrounding are spectacular. A former royal retreat, Villa Las Tronas was once a residence of the royal family in Italy. They came to the villa for their vacations in Sardinia until the 1940s. It conserves the historic atmosphere of an aristocratic hideaway. Villa Las Tronas offers luxurious rooms which have both modern and antique furnishings and many enjoying sea views. The Las Tronas Spa includes an indoor saltwater pool, a hot tub, and a gym. A variety of beauty treatments are also available, including massages. The location is perfect if you want a romantic getaway, but all within walking distance to the charming city of Alquero. You can stay in this top and best rated resort for just, for just $264 per night. Falkensteiner Resort Capo Boy. Enveloped in a luxuriant garden, Falkensteiner Resort Capo Boy is a welcoming Mediterranean oasis nestled between the granite rocks of the countryside and the crystal clear waters of Villa Simias. The Arabic style lines that make up the building stand out and are elegantly repeated inside with a fresh style featuring overwhelmingly white shades and sophisticated furnishings and fabrics. The Falkensteiner Capo Boy Resort has 122 rooms and suites spread between the main building, the garden, annex, and the villas. The crown jewel of this resort is its beautiful infinity relaxation pool located just a stone's throw from the private beach with spectacular views over the sea opposite. You can stay in this top-rated resort for just $364 per night. This place is amazing. Villa del Rey, a five-star beachfront paradise strictly for couples looking to get away from it all. With fine dining, an infinity pool, and a host of bookable activities for the more energetic, but most come for the peace and quiet. The secluded Villa del Rey, a one-hour drive from Cagliari, 37 miles off the Via del Mare, is set in carefully manicured gardens that lead down to the sea and a long stretch of golden sandy beach. The nearest towns are Little Costa Rey, two miles away, and Villa Simias, which takes less than an hour by car. The price to stay in this beautiful hotel is $264 per night, which is very affordable. Let's share a few extra details before leaving you off. Sardinia is cheaper than many European destinations. The average price of a seven-day trip to Sardinia is $1,113 for a solo traveler, $2,000 for a couple, and around $3,747 for a family. I'm starting to fall in love with the Italian islands. And with that said, I'm about to end off this video. Make sure you hit the like and subscribe button Put the notifications on so you'll be the first seeing the new videos. And please, let me know in the comments what you liked most about Sardinia Island and what island you would like to see next. Follow us on Instagram at IslandLuxuryYT for daily Luxury Islands posts and a quick distraction from work and whenever you need a little break. That was it for today, Island Luxury lovers. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.